Today we're going to be talking about how to find the polar equation of the parabola. And in this particular problem, all we've been told about the parabola is that the vertex of the parabola is at the point 4, 3 pi over 2. And the important thing to note about this coordinate point is that this is a polar coordinate point in the form r theta. So at the angle 3 pi over 2, we're out a distance of 4 from the origin. That's where the vertex is. So if we plot this point, on a polar coordinate system, and we have the polar axes like this, where the angle zero is here, and we travel counterclockwise like this around the polar coordinate plane, we don't get to three pi over two until right here. This is the angle three pi over two. So at this angle, we're out a distance of four from the origin. Let's call this right here four. So if we start at the origin, we move out four units toward the angle three pi over two, that's where our vertex is. Now in a problem like this, it's a given that the focus of the parabola is here at the polar origin. So what that tells us is that our parabola wraps up and around the focus like this. So this is just a rough sketch. The focus is here. What we need to do is find the directrix of this parabola. Well, you'll remember that the directrix is an equal distance away from the parabola as the focus. So we know that the distance between the focus and the parabola, the vertex of the parabola, this distance right here, that that's equal to four. So that means that the distance between the vertex and the directrix needs to also be four. So if we graph the line, the directrix right here, that's gonna be the line y equals negative eight. That means our value for d is going to be eight because this is really y equals negative d. And so d itself is just what's outside the minus sign right here, which is eight. So our value for d is eight. That's what we're gonna plug in for d into our equation. Now remember, this is the polar equation for a parabola when the parabola opens up like this where the focus is at the origin. If the parabola opened down like this around the origin or to the right or to the left, we would have a different equation. But for one that opens up like this, we're using the equation r equals e times d, where d is the value we just found, eight, which comes from the equation of the line, the directrix, and then E is eccentricity. Well, when we're dealing with a parabola, eccentricity is always one. If we have an ellipse, eccentricity has to be less than one. If we have a hyperbola, eccentricity has to be greater than one. But in the case of a parabola, eccentricity is always equal to one. So we can start plugging things here into our equation. We know that eccentricity is one because it's a parabola. We know that d is equal to eight because we just found d. And then in our denominator here, we get one minus, again, eccentricity is equal to one. And then we just have sine of theta. So when we simplify this, we see that our equation is r equals eight over one minus sine of theta. And that's it. That's the polar equation of our parabola when the parabola opens up around the focus at the origin. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.